everyone. I'm your host, Eliza Hoffman, and welcome to today's episode of the Penny Pincher Podcast. Let's get into it. Okay, so today we're talking about the $400 semester. So many of you might be thinking about, well, high school, college, what are you talking about? I'm talking about college. And yes, I know that sounds shocking and absurd seeing as how college is so incredibly expensive everything around it when it comes to tuition and housing and food and just all the things especially if you're in the big city trust me but hold on <laughs> so let's set the scene here when i started college i went to the new york campus of the american musical and dramatics academy which is located right in the upper west side of manhattan Immediately, I'm sure you guys are like, no, she's, what is she talking about? Manhattan school and you spent $400? I don't think so. Well, let me clear some things up here first. I'm not talking about tuition. I'm not talking about housing. I'm talking about me, what I spent as a college freshman for a whole semester in New York City. Now, before I lose you, just remember again, this is what I'm talking about of me as a college freshman spending in the city. Now. Some of you are probably like, well, if you were talking about tuition, then you would have me on board. But being in college, we don't tend to spend or be super wise about our money. Let's, let's be honest. So something you should know about me is I've never been the party type. I've never been big extrovert. So kind of using this to my advantage in this story. But when I first started school, I had no job. My parents, especially my mom, was adamant that I would not work for my first couple semesters because she wanted me to focus on my schoolwork. And so I didn't really have any money to spend other than what my parents gave me, which wasn't a lot at the time. So the beginning of semester, October, 2016, they gave me $400. And if you think about it, a college semester is usually about three months long. And even then, I'm pretty sure I let this money last even longer than that. But to think, again, college student in New York City, Manhattan of all places, only $400 and you made it spend, you made it last three to four months. How is that possible? Again, I use my introvertedness to my advantage. Introverts rule the world. So if you ask most of my classmates at the time what they were spending money on, I can guarantee you it was fast food, going out to clubs, maybe even going out to bars. And then, especially because we were all musical theater students, sometimes we would go buy tickets on Broadway, things that really, really, we had no business spending money on, let's be honest. But luckily, I was smart about my money and my mom set me up pretty good, so I have to give her some props. So before I even started college, my mom went to Costco's. Any one of my lovers of Costco or BJ's, shout out to you guys or Sam's Club, because they're really good for this. She had me buy a bunch of groceries in bulk. So yes, in a way, you should really consider the money my mom spent on these groceries, but let me tell you, it saved me a ton for my first semester and really semester and a half. So she got me, you know, juices, macaroni, because of course, you know, again, we're in college, we can't afford to have this luxurious diet. Everyone had ramen noodles, I had macaroni and cheese <laughs> and a few other things, but basically, she stocked me up pretty good and even though yes this was a tiny dorm room so we barely had any room for this we made it work in our room luckily my roommate was also great so with that i was pretty set up for a while there was no reason for me to go out to buy groceries really or even go to fast food places even though yes i am still sucker for fast food so every now and then you know i would give in and two again i'm an introvert didn't really talk to a lot of people, mostly kept in my room to myself, talking to my high school friends on the phone. So I really didn't go out partying either. And so honestly, in the long run, that saved me so much money. By the end of the semester, I remember my parents asking me if I needed any money and I was like, mm, no, I still have. And they're like, what? H how do you still have money? How did you make $400 last that long? I'm like, well, I just didn't do anything that I really didn't need to do anything that I could easily live without. And of course, you know, especially when you're in college, parents will tell you, oh, you have to go out and have fun. But to me, I was happy as a peach. It was fine by me, so, you know. Now, let's take a look at what an average college student usually would spend during a roughly a semester of their first year of college. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see, Grocery and Dining Out. This is perfect. So, Grocery and Dining Out. So, this one I think is a for a specific school. But it talks about how, you know, in a lot of colleges, especially in the one that I went to, there's not always a dining hall. It's not always open all the time. So, that's not really an option for your, you know, grocery needs. And not everybody has a meal plan either. So. But so here it says the estimated cost is $200 to $700 per month. So, based on that, minimum it should have been about, let's say, three months of the semester. So, let's say it should have taken at least. $600 for me to get through my first year of college. And I shaved that off by 200, again, just by using the money my parents gave me, just from being an introvert. Introvert, sometimes, hey, don't knock it till you try it. And again, by buying in bulk, having my parents buy in bulk for me right at the start of the year. And look how much it saved me. And imagine that per semester. So yes, it was only $200 saved roughly for my first semester. But had I done that for every semester, you know, most college kids normally have two semesters per year, go to a four year college, let's say, so that's eight semesters. So that's a total of There it was, $400 in a semester, roughly four months, really. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe some tips for you college students out there as to uh, how to spend more money than you need to because let's be honest between tuition housing books It all gets super expensive and just becomes very overwhelming when it comes to college time and Starting college freshman year is hard enough. So you might want to make it a little bit easier on yourself Well, that's my story for today. Anyone else have some college saving stories that they want to talk about make sure you put them in the comments below and remember if you're new or if you're returning, if you like this video, please like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Again, I would really appreciate it. And also make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you can be reminded when new videos come out. Thank you. Let's get pinching. <laughs>